process look like? Those are questions many residents have tonight after Chief Erica Shields announced her resignation. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff gives us a look at what may lie ahead. Nearly everyone we talked to said they want something different from the status quo here in Louisville, but there's not exactly consensus on what that new direction should be. We need something different, right? Community activist Shamika Parrish Wright says she'll be closely watching the selection process for the next LMPD chief. We need someone that is diverse, that knows what homelessness means, that knows what poverty means, over policing. They don't have to be political, but they have to be willing to work on healing our communities. Chief Erica Shields' resignation will be effective on January the 2nd. Mayor-elect Craig Greenberg says he'll select an interim chief before then and wants to hire a search firm for the next police chief as quickly as possible. Greenberg says he wants to look locally and nationally. Living in Louisville, working in Louisville, growing in Louisville is something unique, and you need someone who understands our landscape. When former police chief Steve Conrad was hired in 2012, there were community input He's meetings. A search team person. gave Mayor Greg Fisher five finalists yeah, to choose from. I think I would love to see a lot more transparency and more openness to uh, pub the public and hearing voices from the public. Tisa Thompson says the new chief should personally come out to West Louisville as often as possible. It gives them a comfort zone where they can talk to the person and see what's going on in their community. You know, just try to get to know, you know, everybody, you know, instead of us all fighting against each other. John Nichols hopes the hiring process is not politicized. If I had my preference, he'd have a representation of all political spectrums, all sides, all races in this community. He hopes the next chief gets tough on crime. I'd like to see a police chief that could restore the safety that I knew in downtown Louisville growing up. Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News. And Greenberg says that he'll also be getting input from his 58-person transition team. Those members were announced last week.